Hello everybody, we all near of Asgard here, and welcome back to part 5, or part 5, part 7 of Let's Play Penumbra Overture. Alright, so, let's continue on. I've been terrible for like getting parts wrong. Oh well. Long loading time. Maybe because it's the first time booting it up since uh, this playthrough. Or, well, this session. Alright, let's go. Did I hear whispering? I thought I heard faint, wind, faint whispering. And I'm not sure if there's any more of those dogs around, so just to be safe. Safe. <laughs> I want you to know that right when I say that, the music starts. Good this way, I th So far, nothing. Hear you. Oh shit, it's right there. <laughs> okay, it's moving. No, oh. no, it's not moving. Oh, wait, come on. You are ugly. All right. Through the door. Ah, excellent. Right where I wanted to be. Okay. Now we have to get through those pistons. So let's go here. Now. By pressing the R button you get that hand even if you're uh, not interacting with anything. Figured that out a little too late for this. Wow, that was quicker than I thought I would get it. I usually fail at these kind of things. Alright. Let's go through. Ah, only the engraving etched in the back of my mind can compare to the sight you must be seeing. Now power has returned. I wish I could be there with you, but circumstances do not allow for such frivolity. Maybe soon there is something you can do about that. But tell me, are there ever melted conveyances now journey in the rock room? I think I know really. It is some kind of a heaven or a utopia. It certainly has an interesting way of talking. Very verbose, I guess. And down goes the ladder, awesome. Well, oh, I forgot you have to click on the ladders to use them. I just jump on. Cause, you know, that would be too easy. That was more difficult than I thought it was gonna be too. Oh, wow. Throw you down the conveyor belt. And continue forth. You 
use the ladder this time so I don't hurt myself. I have gifted you with my love. Perhaps you could give me with something. After all, the laws of politeness would be shattered if you were to appear in my party without a gift. Poor Red is so hungry. He could eat both the horse and the young Ridley's stable hand. Simply, pony flesh is so hard to come by in these parts, and man meat is so it's so bland. Yeah, you would know. Your eyes happened upon a scurrying rodent. Would you deliver the crunchy feast by way of a final meal? Yeah, I would not want to eat rat. I guess. If you have nothing else to eat. Okay. Ah, son of a bitch. I hate this puzzle. Yeah, I guess after a few days of... Shit. Hunger, rat would look pretty good. Dang it, that's not the right one. Uh, I need to look at the pattern again. This one? Yes, it is. Okay. And this one. And this one? No. Fuck. Okay. Fuck, what am I doing? Okay, let's look at the pattern first. Okay. Oh, shit. Wrong time. Wasn't watching. <laughs> ah, failed. Getting ahead of myself now. And that one. And these two. Nope. This one, this one, this one, I can stay here. Go to this one. No! Oh, wait, I have to wait another one. Ah! Okay, this one, this one, this one. Wait, wait, go! And then, this one? Yes! No, oh, ah, oh, oh, I almost made it! I can, I can make it. I can make it. Okay, I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. I've got this. Run! No! Oh, yes! Okay. This door, yeah, is locked or jammed shut or whatever. Out of the way, barrel! It Come on! You're probably what created that giant worm anyway. I hate you. Okay. And to here. Flashlight. Looks like glow stick. I like the glow stick more. Uh. And the game doesn't let you open doors with the pickaxe or any other item out, which means I did not know this was a door at first. So I was searching and searching for a way out for a long time without getting anywhere. So that sucked. Alright. Move you out of the way. Ugh! Urgh. Okay. And go down here. Let's take a look. A brick wall? What the hell indeed? Thought mines are supposed to take away rock, not put rock walls up. Oh, brick. You know, it's... Whatever. 
Well, now to use our trusty bolt cutters. And push the heavy minecart down. Where did they break out? What the fuck? What the? It came off the rails! <laughs> I'm glad it didn't screw things up, but it came off the rails. That was weird. Okay, anyway. I believe this is the worm we had seen. Hey! I did not notice you before, so I shall read you. Here we have a little baby worm. It's been cut open. Eee. You're disgusting. Giant. Let's see here. Ah, oh, of course, nothing in there. Well, let's grab things out of the cupboards if there's anything here. Oh, newspaper. We'll need that. Door's locked. Looks like there's something stuck in the keyhole. Which is why we put the newspaper under the door. Push it through. And pull it out. Hooray! Now we have a key. To open the door. And there's that worm again. Speaking of worms... Ugh. Gross. You. Where's that chair? A rock. I oh, can't pick up a rock. Pick up a chair. Oh. Damn it! Oh! Got two of them. Okay. Now, oh look, a light switch. Yeah, this was very unsettling the first time. It still is rather unsettling. Oh boy. Okay. Well, now that we're in the area. Blank note. UV light. One, three, seven, one. Hooray. That's exactly what we needed. Um, while you hunt for those delicate, uh, melt-in-your-mouth nasty morsels, there are places you should not go. Melt in your morsels. The Reaper lives here, just like you and I. And just like you and I, he must ingest the living flesh of those less fortunate than him. I like alliteration like that. that That's probably why I really visit. like V for Vendetta. Even on your holidays, because it's dark and evil place that I've been. When the darkness has overwhelmed my small decaying mind. <laughs> Some bad things have flowed from my mind and through my pen. The brilliant blue ink itself seemed to turn to blood into my grace. And by the way, should you turn peckish, red is at its finest sautéed with a little engine oil. <laughs> that may be why he's gone raving mad. You know, cooking things in engine oil. 
Anyway, I think I'm going to stop the video here. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.